This father and daughter were talking. Suddenly a drone flew overhead. He hurriedly drove after it. The drone had something he wanted. He followed the drone into the cornfield. He took out his computer and hacked into the drone. He finally got him under control at a cliff. He'd been flying aimlessly for 10 years. It took Cooper a long time to get him down. Just for a battery inside. The future is sandy and dusty. The plates have to be placed upside down. Modern civilized society has evolved into an agrarian age. Corn has become the main thing. Rare talent also became farmers. However, as crops continue to become extinct, fewer and fewer varieties survived. Humans are also in danger of not surviving. Cooper was a NASA astronaut before he started farming. One day, a strange phenomenon occurred on the bookshelf in his daughter Murphy's room. Spaces. The daughter was keenly interested in these things and used Morse code to decipher the spaces on the bookshelf. A dust storm allowed Cooper to accidentally discover the phenomenon of gravitational fields and deciphered a coordinate. He planned to find out. His daughter, who was very interested in this, sneaked into the car. Ah! Hey! Doing? had no choice but to take him along. It turns out that the coordinates are NASA's secret base. Cooper learned of NASA's human evacuation plan, DR. Brand invited him to drive a spaceship to participate in the program. NASA discovered a wormhole near Saturn 48 years ago. It leads to another galaxy. 10 years ago, they sent 12 pioneers to another galaxy. The information they sent back indicated that three planets were potentially habitable, DR. Rand developed two plans, a plan to build an arc space station by controlling the gravitational force to send humans to a new environment. He planned to bring thousands of human fertilized eggs to the new environment, use technology with pending transportation to reproduce humans. Cooper prefers plan A so that he can take his family with him. Looking at the blackboard full of uncomputed formulas, he didn't feel confident. Rand gave Cooper a promise. By the time you return, I would have solved the problem of gravity. I give you my word. Daughter didn't want him to leave, came home and had a temper tantrum. The next day he came to apologize to his daughter. Daughter told him she had deciphered the message on the bookshelf. I figured out the message. One word. You know what it is? Stay. Cooper took his daughter's words as a child's capricious comfort. He said I would be back. He gave his daughter a watch, told him that what happens in space would create a time change. When I come back, maybe we'll be the same age. The smart daughter listened. Out that Cooper has no idea when he'll be back. Ah, no idea. Oh! Oh, don't, don't, mind, don't make me leave like this. Come on, Murph. Don't make me leave like this, Murph. Cooper can't help it. I love you. Forever. You hear me? I love you forever. And I'm coming back. Just opened the door. A book fell from the shelf. As if to say don't go. Cooper hesitated for a moment. But he left. He started the engine with regret. Looking at the co-pilot's clothes. It was a detail. In Cooper's subconscious mind. Daughter is still hiding under the clothes. Murphy chases her out. However, the only thing left in front of him is the dust from the car. Cooper, DR, Brand's daughter Amy, plus two other people, with a super intelligent robot, a team left Earth. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Here we go. They successfully entered a wormhole to reach the first target in another galaxy. They chose the planet where the Pioneer Miller landed. But here, because of the proximity to the black hole, the gravitational influence of the black hole, the time around the black hole, including the time of this planet, will be much slower than the Earth. In other words, one hour on this planet is equivalent to seven years on Earth. In order to avoid wasting too much time, Cooper chose to bypass the time-shifting zone, landing from the back of the planet. Cooper's plan worked, landing safely on the planet. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Go, 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 go! Seven years per hour here. Let's make it count. They found the wreckage of Miller's new marker, breaking through to find a huge wave ahead. It's away from them. He turns around to see that the next wave is about to hit them. Are you back here now? No, we do not have time. He calls to his teammates to get back. One of his teammates didn't have time to get on the boat. He was swallowed up by a huge wave. <laughs> uh -huh. 
after the destruction of the wave, the ship's engines were heavily waterlogged. It needed to be drained. Drainage time is about an hour or so. <coughs> you know that for every hour of delay in here, seven years have passed outside. Amy did the math. Miller's travel time from Earth, from Earth to here in a few hours, which means Miller was killed on this planet, most likely just a few minutes ago. The drainage was nearly complete, but a second wave is about to arrive. It's too late. The breakthrough was forced to fire. Fortunately, the engines are working. Engines up! The two escaped the wave. This planet is not suitable for survival. Back on the space station, they were greeted by their black teammates. Tell them it's been 23 years. In those 23 years, the space station has received many messages from Earth, but no way to send messages. Cooper sat down to review the messages. Murphy still grabbed his car. She crashed it. She's okay, though. Her son grew up. He's at home farming, married, and has children. His father had passed away. After so many years, only one video from the daughter. You son of a bitch. You once told me that when you came back we might be the same age. And today I'm the age you were when you left. <laughs> so it would be a real good time for you to come back. Due to lack of fuel, the remaining two planets could only go to one of them. They finally decided to land on the relatively close one. DR, man's planet. By this time, Murphy had been working at NASA for many years. DR, brand on Earth was at the end of his life. Before he left, he told Murphy the truth. Forgive me, Murph. There's nothing to forgive. I lied, Murph. I lied to you. No way to help us. But plan A, all this, all these people in the equation, did my father know? Did he leave me? Bran didn't answer his question. He lied. Lied to most of the people who trusted him. Plan A was just a hoax. This is a glacial planet in another galaxy. DR, Cooper and DR, man awakened from their hibernation chamber. DR, man described it. This planet has 67 hours of day and 67 hours of night, and it's very cold. He found a surface layer beneath the ice. The conditions are suitable for human survival. Amy received a video from Murphy, learning of her father's death, and that plan A was a scam. Amy refused to believe it, that her father had worked on the gravitational formula. He said that his father had worked on the gravitational formula for a lifetime. He didn't understand why Murphy said that. DR, man spoke up. Before he set out, his father had solved the formula, but the so-called formula couldn't reconcile general relativity and quantum field theory. In a word, that with the current understanding of black holes is not enough to support the operation of plan A. So plan A is just a hoax. Plan B is the core. I'm sorry, Cooper. We are the future. Who is on Earth? Calculated DR. Brand's formula. That's only half the answer need a deeper understanding of black holes to realize plan A. It was as if he sensed that the rest of the answer, it must be in the room where the strange things happened to him as a child. DR, man took Cooper to a place far away. He threw away Cooper's communication module when he wasn't looking. He pushes him off a cliff. The two men become entangled. Man shatters Cooper's mask. Oxygen starts to leak. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't watch you go through this, I'm sorry. He struggled to find the communication module and installed it. Ah! Help! 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 He called Amy urgently. Amy arrives just in time to save him. It turns out DR, man had faked the data. This planet, there are no conditions, the necessary conditions to survive. The reason he kept sending signals, that someone would come here and get him out. He didn't want to die on this hopeless planet. Man flew his ship to the space station, trying to dock. However, he didn't have docking rights on the station. Imperfect contact. Override. Lockout. He began to manually force a docking, trying to open the station's hatch, but the ship's docking mechanism would not lock. Dr. Man, listen to me. This is not about my life or Cooper's life. This is about all mankind. There is a moment. It is not 
due to man's irregularities, caused a negative pressure explosion in the space station's air pressure chamber. That caused a series of chain reactions due to the force of the space station began to rotate at high-speed breakthrough. Drive the ship close to the rotating space station, ready to dock. He was really brave. He came to a standstill relative to the station, successfully docked and stabilized him. <laughs> okay. Hey, for our next trick! <laughs> But the station kept sliding towards the black hole. Breakthrough made a plan. Let the station slide to the edge of the black hole world, and then use the black hole's gravitational slingshot effect straight to the next planet. This plan requires a spacecraft to assist in propulsion. When it runs out of fuel, it needs to be separated from the station to reduce its weight. But the station's linkage is broken. It can't be separated automatically only at the expense of robots for manual separation. Why does TARS have to detach? Oh, well, we have to shed the weight to escape the gravity. Newton's third law. The only way humans have ever figured out of getting somewhere is to leave something behind. Cooper, you can't ask TARS to do this for us. He's a robot, so you don't have to ask him to do anything. Cooper, you asshole. Sorry, you broke up a little bit there. It's what we intended, Dr. Grant. It's our only chance to save people on Earth. If I can find a way to transmit the cloud of data I'll find in there, they might still make it. Let's just hope there's still someone there to save. Maximum velocity achieved. Ready. Maintenance condition in three, two, one, mark. Space station main engine startup. Robots start engine boost. Immediately after the breakthrough also opened the spacecraft engine. These operations seem to be only a few minutes. In fact, 51 years have passed under the influence of the black hole. The space station is off the edge of the world. The robot ship runs out of fuel. The ship was separated from the station. Goodbye, Tars. Goodbye, Dr. Brent. See you on the other side, Coop. See you there, Slick! Coop's fuel is also running out. The ship's engines are out. He was also ready to detach the station. However, this plan was not told to Amy. Cooper chose to sacrifice himself in order to send Amy to the third planet. He also chose to sacrifice himself for the future of humanity. Cooper separates the ship from the station. He was drawn to the black hole by the strong gravitational force. The ship falls apart. He ejected himself from the ship. After an unknown amount of time, Cooper enters a hypercube. Ah! He finds that it is the back of his daughter's room bookshelf. Timelines from different time periods are displayed on the hypercube. No, 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 no. He finds the timeline of the day he left, knocked the books off the shelf, delivering a message to his daughter that he left behind. The beginning of the mystery was uncovered. It turned out that he had knocked down the books himself, seeing himself leaving soon. Don't no, no let me leave, Merv! He was so close, but he couldn't do anything about it. He hammered the timeline hard, knocking a book off the floor. It dawned on him, the strange events in this room. The strange events in this room were his own messages to Murphy. On the other side of the world, Murphy also suddenly understood. The impression in this room must have come from his father. This is the voice of the robot. He's still alive. He tells Cooper that he's in their fifth dimension. They saved him. This one they're referring to was the one who placed the wormhole on Saturn. The people who created the hypercube timeline inside the black hole. And tells Cooper, gravity can transfer information between dimensions. Cooper suddenly realized it wasn't him they had chosen, but his daughter Murphy. All the timelines here are in Murphy's room at every moment. S room. Cooper was looking for a way to send a message. He sees the watch he left for Murphy. Cooper had the robot send quantum data to him in Morse code. He uses gravity to toggle the watch hands, sending the message out. On the other side of the world, Murphy holds his watch. He noticed that the hands were beating at regular intervals. He realized it was a message from his father. Murphy wrote 
down the messages his father passed on. Using this information, he got the remaining half of the answer by doing the math. Plan A was no longer a blank check that couldn't be cashed. There was finally hope for humanity. After Cooper sent the message, the hypercube also shut down. The camera pans. Cooper wakes up from his hospital bed. The officers explained to him he had only a few minutes of oxygen left when they found him. Thankfully, his daughter hadn't passed away yet. The two finally meet. I'm here now, Mom. I'm here. No parent should have to watch their own child die. Murphy is also in his twilight years. He doesn't want his father to send him away. Murphy told Cooper to find Amy. Don't let him be alone on that planet. Cooper looked at his daughter. He had a lot of mixed feelings. He didn't get to be a part of his development. When I saw her again, it was already a parting. Cooper secretly took a spaceship. He set out on a journey to find Amy. On the third planet where Amy was, he took off his helmet. Breathing in the air of the planet, the camera pans to the brightly lit base. This planet had enough of the necessary conditions for humans to survive. He put plan B into practice. And